video, we're going to talk about continue talking about topic 6.8 indefinite integrals, and we're going to look at example 21. So I know that the squared means write it twice, which means that I'm going to have to multiply this out before I even start trying to integrate it, at least with my knowledge at this point. So I've got x squared minus x plus 2 and x squared minus x plus 2. I tend to use this area model or this box, um, so I keep my work nice and organized and I don't miss any of my terms. So x times x, x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. x squared times negative x would be negative x cubed. x squared times 2 would be 2x squared. Negative x times x squared would be negative x cubed. Negative x times negative x would be positive x squared negative x times 2 is negative 2x. 2 times x squared would be 2x squared. 2 times negative x would be negative 2x, and 2 times 2 would be 4. And remember, our diagonals are typically our like terms, so we're going to combine those. As we're combining them, I'm going to write it back into my integral. So it would be x to the fourth, negative x cubed, and negative x cubed is negative 2x cubed. Uh, 2x plus x is 3x plus 2 would be 5x squared. And then negative 2x and negative 2x would be negative 4x plus 4dx. All right, then we're going to go ahead and integrate. So we're going to add 1 to our exponents. We get x to the fifth divided by 5. We're going to add 1 again. We get minus 2x to the fourth divided by 4. Add 1, we get plus 5x cubed divided by 3. This is a 1. We're going to add 1. So minus 4x squared over 2 plus 4. Remember, we just add an x and then plus c. I could simplify just a tiny, tiny bit. Um, it looks like 2 can go into 4. So x to the 5th over 5 minus x to the 4th over 2 uh, plus 5x cubed over 3. 2 goes into 4 twice, so minus 2x squared plus 4x plus c.